Hello, everyone. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Urinals on fire in an airport bathroom. I watched beady rat's eyes glitter near the drain of a commode. All of those moments will be lost in time, like piss down the drain. Or they would have been before our new hit podcast, Toilet Talk, the only podcast on the internet with absolutely no shit or piss. (laughs) (laughs) Is that true? (laughs) That's not true. (laughs) I don't, I don't. I hope there's a lot of, of podcasts out there that. Uh, nope. This is the only one. The only one. Surprisingly, the podcast about toilets is the only one with no shit or piss. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, other other fun working working subtitles. The only po- The only honest podcast. Toilet talk. I like the only good podcast, personally. The only good podcast, the least shitty podcast, the only honest podcast. Pick whatever one you want. I like that's, the least. I like the least shitty a lot too. That's really good because <laughs> yeah. it really does. It really does get at the at the heart of things. Where you know we're saying, hey, podcasts suck. Ours, that's true. Not too bad. Hey, <laughs> here's the worst way to spend an hour: toilet talk. Hey everybody, first time, long time. Uh, been a big fan since uh, episode one, and then episode one again, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then episode one again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll be a fan of all your future episode ones. Every an episode two every now and then. Every episode is episode one. Let's be let's be real. We're reinventing yeah, the wheel y- y- every y- time. Y- are sticking to the piss and shit theme by having all your episodes be number one and number two. Mm, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> If it was like a binary system where it's like one, two, and then like one, one, it'd be like one, one, and then like one, two, and then two, one, and then two, two, and then you're out of things. <laughs> yeah. That's my extremely good two understanding 11, of binary. Two, 12. <laughs> two, 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 12. Oh, that's exactly how it works. Congratulations. Yep. That's You're why computer science yeah, is now. there. Yeah. Perfect. The other thing we got to talk about the rules before we get going. God damn. Mm-hmm. Um, Hey, on toilet talk, we have, we have one, well, two major rules, one for each of the excrements. Um, Hey, no <laughs> pissies and no shitties. That's it. About no it. D-dos and no hey, you could even say it's one rule with like two, Two subheadings, yeah. Two yeah. It's like yeah. rule one A and rule one B. Yeah, we got article one, sub articles one and two. Yeah, you there got you go. um, <laughs> article one, no, no pissies, and then addendum, no shitties. There we go. No doo doo, <laughs> no pp. Whereas, no what's pissies? the podcast stance on vom? Uh, nah. <laughs> what about uh, Addend- that's addendum a personal, two? That's a, that's a personal stance, though. That's not like an official podcast legal stance. A legal stance. So uh, there is <laughs> the podcast uh, bylaws. It's not against the podcast bylaws. Okay. There's the alternate. Vom is usually considered uh, number three in the in the toilet pantheon, right? Mm-hmm. There's number one p, number two poo poos, and number three vom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard of a proposed uh, alternate number three, uh, known blood? as cummies. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I was gonna say cummies. You gotta watch out for yeah. cummies in the toy toy. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a no cummies uh, PC. This is also absolutely a, a no cummies. Zone. <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of things that come out of your body that aren't on toilet talk. Yeah, <laughs> okay. put it like that. Uh, hey, uh, no, we can say no bodily fluids, but it's more fun to say hey, yeah. no cummy, okay. no cummies in the toilet talk. Uh, yeah, tears are perfectly legal though. We can do tears. Tears are legal and easy, so tears you know, tears, tears, are, <laughs> tears come easy. <laughs> Those days dust, it was beautiful. Tears came easy. D- dust gets in your eye and tears come easy. Um Yeah, I forgot what I was are gonna say is if I could. Yeah, let's look at a fucking it. Took it. Uh, took it. <laughs> Before I get into uh what I consider uh my entree that I brought for you, I found this image on Zillow. It's uh what I would consider an aperitif. Uh just the fact that this picture was uh posed as like something to sell a house with. 
Also, it has this extremely cool sort of a Baja vibe Ooh. that I want to share with you. <laughs> okay. It's so small. It is very small. <laughs> um, um, yeah. What's Dang, happening? Dude, is... This is like a postage stamp. <laughs> I'm uh, it's like a, just it's v- like a um a limousine. It's a toilet limousine. Look how long it is. <laughs> that is a very long toilet. That's like a that's like built for two. You could have one mm-hmm. person like sitting forwards, another person like straddling it backwards at the yeah. same time. It's a love it's yeah. a love seat. Going S to S on the toilet. No, front to front. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah, that's. A, don't <laughs> tell me that isn't is, a sex this thing. This isn't the longest toilet I've seen, but something <laughs> about this toilet makes me think that it's like, like a regular at a bar. Yeah, I don't know if it, that it comes through, but he's got like a bit of a double chin and like, mm-hmm. uh, just sort of a an elongated like drinker's features. Yeah, sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your pee. Yeah, he's yeah, he's just a fun looking little guy. I'm, yeah. I'm currently imagining trying to sit on it sideways and take a duke. Ooh, that wouldn't I, be bad. Yeah, yeah, sounds you pretty can nice, sit real honestly. deep in there. I feel like that would be cozy. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. like you could take a bath in here up to age like five or six. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, also, the uh, the you know potted plant on the back obviously a feature meant to sell the house of course but also uh, a a secondary peeing place this is a bathroom for three. Oh, <laughs> that's a good point you throw in that shower anything goes oh shit yeah you get wild in that shower that's this a big is, shower this is a big th- um this is a pervert bathroom and i'm into it yeah <laughs> this is all yeah. like Post polycule or orgy bathroom for sure. You can also, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You can also see there's a ton of natural lighting up in this up in this place. Like, look at look at how much. Like, this is not the light unless this is like someone's good at photography. But to me, it looks like natural lighting mm-hmm. that's uh, from a giant window that's just behind where the picture has been taken, shining directly into the toilet zone. Yeah, I'm I loving. I'm loving the idea that this is like a this is a bathroom where you know extreme naughtiness happens, but there's no shame. Everybody feels perfectly at home here, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah. let the light shine in, baby." Uh, you know, uh, that's like a really good contrast to me. Yeah, like light pervert. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I wonder what the neighbors think of all the things that go on in the bathroom. I think the neighbors all participate. I'm imagining this uh-huh. is a retirement community. Oh, absolutely. Oh, very it's good. Just a, a a swingers bench is what they call that toilet. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, <clears throat> you you could do some you could do some piss play in here, easy. Um, <laughs> uh, also, the uh, excuse me, uh, water sports. Very very sorry <laughs> to be so crass. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, also you can tell that like with this, the tile on the floor, this is, this is absolutely for old, for like an older generation. This is not, this is not your, this is not your children's, you know, this is not a millennial bathroom. Yeah. This tile speaks, uh, this tile speaks the language of a, of a white woman in her sixties who calls her home her casa. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) I, I can just imagine <laughs> Ken Burns slowly panning around this toilet <laughs> while explaining like mid-century aesthetics. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> what country do you think this is in? That's a good question. Well, hmm. We have an answer since it was found on Zillow, but I want to guess. Um, I want to guess that this is taken like um, in like the middle of ohio like middle mm-hmm. of nowhere i was going to say like 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 arizona or like like texas or something not enough jade yeah mm-hmm. very real <laughs> uh that's a good point i'm going to say mexico but very specifically baja california Ooh. yeah yeah mm. oh, i can see the hell out of that 
Yeah. Do you have a confirmation on that for us, August? I uh, do not. I forget. Fuck. That's a, that is a okay. <laughs> hey, you know, yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bathroom for sweet polycule uh, trios or quads. Um, maybe even a Sub lot. TM. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where to go with that word. Uh, <laughs> pen, pentacules. <laughs> You might as well go all the way up to sexicule. Sexicule, wow. <laughs> Woo. Spicy. Extremely good. I saw one of those on, on the Pornhub one time. You did not. I'll never oh, tell. I already did. Don't lie but... me about that. <laughs> Are we ready for a new toilet? Uh yeah, any last any final thoughts on this toilet? Uh, all about the friends uh, you made. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i you know i i just really appreciate like all of the design in here it feels very <clears throat> it feels very hgtv you know oh um, yeah it does yeah the home and the garden you see the home which is the toilet the garden which is the plant on the back and uh and the tv which is all the people watching um <laughs> through the giant fucking window you know Through the bay window <laughs> where the sixth member of your polycule sits reading yeah. uh, vain air yeah 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 the, they've got like the full on like readers and duck in built into the window yeah, yeah the, like, the last like person in the bay window the last person is full ace and they're just chilling out over there Hell reading yeah. a book and being like love y'all and going back to reading their book Howls every now and then yeah absolutely I have a viewer submission from friend of the show, Delru. Um, nice. And I'm going to make sure this, this might end up getting cut depending on what the consensus is behind this toilet, but I think <laughs> everyone would like to see it anyway. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I feel like I've seen that. I know I've seen this one before. I've seen Whoa. it too, but this is so good. Yeah. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Me too. Delru, <laughs> Delru, excellent submission. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm in. I'm into it. Yeah. I like the first oh, thing oh. I've noticed that's a little bit subtle. Subtle here is um, there appears to be like some sort of cage in the urinal guarding the soap from people who would <laughs> reach in there and grab it. Uh, <laughs> yum, I yum. assume that's what it's for. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I think it's like a mat. Yeah, it's like a dispersion thing. I know how this works with urinals. What, what you're trying to do there oh, is make sure that... Urinal doctor <clears throat> you, over here. Hello, There's I'm Dr. Urinal. <laughs> uh, yeah, what that does is it, it, it sprays it out underneath and, and kind of ablates it so it doesn't blast pee back onto your pantaloons. Um, mm, yeah. Ablation, you say. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Big words. I'm a, I'm a dime store uh, Andy. It's okay. When I that, know that word from a Warhammer. I was gonna say I know it from the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, oh yeah. If that if that urinal re-enters the atmosphere, it's not gonna burn up. Yeah. It does seem to me like it's like a 3D object and not like a mat that's resting on it. It looks like they're like little plastic bars sitting above I the think where you're. You need new glasses, like. bud. Yeah, you I like how this is the thing you're focusing on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know. I want to know who would reach in and grab a urinal cake from the it's, urinal. It's <laughs> not yeah. a cage, though. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it, it's it's there it's a for armor. ablution, <laughs> which is a it's different thing than ablution. Ab there we go. Okay, cool. Absolution. Absolution. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. The those are just there for structural support. I promise. I promise. Alrighty, if you insist. And I think the cake's on top of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so, I really like the uh, metal bars jutting out of the wall to support the legs. I mean, how else <laughs> are you going to keep it in there? Uh, I don't you know, know maybe you, it's a you know Go that ahead. people are getting really excited when they're peeing in this toilet. Remember, we saw the the mouth ones in the last uh, in the last one, and we we said people got really horny when they went up to that toilet. This one, mm -hmm. same thing, uh, but oh, instead sure. of grabbing onto the nose of the the final character on the left, uh, this time they're grabbing the uh, the legs and uh, pulling. 
We can oh, see yeah. exactly where they're grabbing the legs too because there are friction marks on <laughs> either side. <laughs> yes, there are. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, something about this makes me think that it is uh, the images that the woman uh, ass slammed through the wall <laughs> and then got stuck there and they installed a urinal where her uh, undertorso existed. Yeah, but there was definitely actually existed. There was, there was oh actually a tragic accident here. This and seems it was... more like a tasteless memorial <laughs> than a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a, a sexy treat. Oh, God. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> I gotta rest say, in this peace. one makes me really, really uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> deeply, deeply ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike um, the last one, the last one had like very pure, like pure pervert energy. Where this one has like deep, dark pervert energy. Like yeah. Like this is at like a motorcycle club where everybody's just like fucking wasted and. Like making making, I'm sure somebody's duked in that urinal. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure somebody's cumbed into that urinal. I would not be surprised. I'm sure a group of people oh. have stood in a semicircle around that <laughs> urinal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, this has big tribute energy, and that's. Uh, <laughs> Two things I want to note. First of all, the two burgundy squares on the wall. Uh, mm -hmm. Not on the same level, yeah. Not on. Uh, one has sort of what looks to be an uh, orchid design or something. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Let's enhance, really an enhance, design. enhance. <laughs> I don't know. I really can't tell. Yeah, I can't. It looks I can't like tell a, what that is. Like a bunch of uh, flat, like the top of a bunch of flowers to me. But mm, okay, um, I can see that. A little too uh, aesthetic for the rest of the image i mean this might be a, a, a an installation after the fact you know what i'm saying like uh like like this this bathroom might have been in like imagine imagine a scene okay in the 50s there was this like uh or, or okay we'll say the 40s there was a uh a diner okay and there, the diner had like beautiful beautiful bathroom just like well done and <clears throat> you know all over the all over the place like well tiled with with nice floral patterns and things like that. And then uh and then everybody comes back from from World War II and all the fighter pl pilots are like, "Hey, I'm I'm really jones in for that feeling of flying again. Can you can you put a motorcycle bar here?" And so they start riding their motorcycles around. They they need a club, right? They so they go and buy this old this place that closed because nobody was going to the Poughkeepsie uh, you know, diner anymore, right? Um <laughs> And this is absolutely Poughkeepsie. Yeah, this is this is Poughkeepsie yeah, to sure. a T. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and so and so they're like, yeah, okay. Well, now we got this place, and it's really nice. We need to dinge it up a little bit because we're nasty boys. We we drew the pinup girls on the sides of our planes. Now we need a pinup girl in the bathroom. <laughs> well, uh, more than a pinup girl, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the best into <laughs> so. <laughs> you know that's that's my headcanon for for what happened here when you said uh that the pilots uh want to feel like they're flying again i thought you were gonna go <laughs> <laughs> right into the right into the urinal <laughs> i want to hold on to a lady's ankles for that bit mm. so i feel like i'm flying again oh my God. <laughs> yeah it feels like the cockpit joysticks yeah i do <laughs> I do love that head cannon, but at the same time, that's a very modern urinal attached to those women's legs. That's that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I like the sure. idea. You're right. Like that. It's the legs are uh, uh, protected by like the city historical society. God damn. I choose to believe Brian's head cannon, though. <clears throat> it's wrong, but it's good. <laughs> Mine fits into the my head cannon was that this is in the basement of the kink.com armory and the one we saw originally was on the top floor. Uh, uh, could you explain more about the kink.com armory? I've already said to I've shown my whole ass. Oh, here, okay, got like it. Urinal has. Understood. Understood. Um, how do you think this urinal shits? No, I'm kidding. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think the urinal cake comes from? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, this is no. a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, like a lot. Oh my gosh. I hate looking at it, but I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. fun to talk about. Uh, I love that there is a divider for this, like, obviously, like, extremely perverse display happening here. Like, they put a divider in to be like, yeah, we're not, we're not going to show our whole ass, but this toilet does have legs. <laughs> it's, it's just like a very weird, uh, what's it, uh, the, 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 the contrast, right? Like, you're like, it's hey. angles in this bathroom, you might not even notice the legs. Well, exactly, right? You you could be at another toilet that ostensibly and doesn't it, have legs and be like, oh, well, you know, Joe over there just seems to be having a very joyful pee. He got his hands on the walls, too. He must be, he must be, you know, he must be tired or drunk. What no. if the rest of the Halfway in the bathroom, there's a bouncer with a velvet robe. <laughs> and only if you have an ID showing you're 18 or older can you come back uh, to the leg urinal. Absolutely. You gotta, what if the rest you gotta of the careful. toilets what if the rest of the toilets in this bathroom also have legs in various different positions? Yeah, but the rest of them are just like very like like they're businessmen wearing like actual like <laughs> uh, like pleated slacks. <laughs> like, mm. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> Just some like so, some big old hairy legs on some of them too would be nice. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, you know, really just get get out there, get 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 wild with it. Like show everybody. Uh, so, one, so the one, asymmetry, the asymmetric ass cheeks are really fucking me up. Uh huh. Like that <laughs> that sort of takes it into like a, a non Euclidean territory for me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> One thing that I think adds to the whole story of this image um, that uh, I think August pointed out earlier is the two burgundy tiles that aren't uh, aligned at all whatsoever. I can I can see the reason for those. Um, and the reason for those is someone got in a fight over the legs in the bathroom and cracked <laughs> two of the tiles. Hell and yeah. they did not have any white ones to replace them with. So they're just like, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. We got these burgundy ones. No one's going to notice. <laughs> now, <clears throat> do you think they were using chains? Um, are they fighting with... Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Good yeah, enough. motorcycle chains. Yeah. yeah. Swinging with chains. Motorcycle chains. Obviously. Motorcycle chains. I know when I go to the bathroom, I bring my chain with me. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, got that thing. Okay, you know, you never know who you're gonna have to choke out with a chain in the bathroom. Uh, I have the perfect palate cleanser for this uh, urinal. I, are we ready to move on? Off. I, yes. Yes. Yeah. I, okay. I got it. I got it. I got the perfect palate cleanser. Here we go. There she is, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's the perfect palate cleanser. <laughs> wow. I know that's a- I know that's a toilet brush on the bottom right, but for a second I thought it was a little like watering can or tea, tea cup or something <laughs> like that. Well, you know, don't you have to water your doilies to keep them healthy? <laughs> oh my What's gosh! A wicker this basket is... in the bottom left too. I don't know. This is so highly impractical. I really I enjoy it. Oh my gosh! It's just like, like if. If one component of this, it's like like a watch. Like if one single piece of this goes, then the entire thing is fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you have to just jettison everything because there's no way you're going to get a replacement uh, Victorian quilted uh, mm-hmm. seat cover back quilt. You'd have to make another one. Hopefully, you have enough material to do it. Um, he has enough material to. Also, uh, is that velvet lining the bottom? I don't know. Oof. It looks velveteen to me. This is in France, by the way. Using Zizek's <laughs> theory of uh, of toilets, I can say <laughs> that this is a French toilet. I can tell it's French because it, like the other ones, is for perverts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I would say that French and German designs both hint at a deep perversion, but they're very different perversions, and I really See, appreciate I don't, that. I don't get pervert vibe from this. I get, like, like 90-year-old grandma vibe from it. You think grandma's not a pervert? 
<laughs> shit, you're right. Grandma doesn't fuck. Yeah, grandma fucks. <laughs> Got me there. Never mind. Uh, I don't know. Alternatively, this could be in like a a, a very like. I don't know exactly who I'm like really trying to create a picture in my mind of the person who has this. And part of me wants it to be an older gay gentleman, like a Nathan Lane oh, kind of guy, yeah. you know, I don't know if hell Nathan yeah. Lane's even gay, but like, I don't think he's got, he is, but like, I don't know. I, uh, All right. yeah, that's the, that's a vibe, you know, I'm getting Nathan, L- Nathan Lane, gay. I'm asking, <laughs> uh, my phone. Dear phone. Hey, Google. But see, I, I'm thinking like 90 year old British grandma. I can see that too. A lot of similarities that, there. Like, oh, that like and animosity. Like so much like a teacup, and like it's just the color. I don't know. I get I get British vibes from it for some reason. Okay. Another thing that's hinting at elderly to me is the box of toilet paper rolls right there, and the side oh, yeah. of having. Instead of having one in a hanger, which hints at potentially not being able to use the loopy thing to attach to the wall because you don't have the strength anymore to push it in or some shit like that. I don't know. Or maybe they just like their toilet paper right there. Uh, I'm guessing that there is actually a, a one of those hanging out over here somewhere. It's just not there right now. Uh, yeah. Or not in not image. Um, and also, that actually, the box itself is what makes me think it's like a, a younger more uh yeah. more like modern person because like the wicker and all that you know tells a picture but you look at that box that's like a modular like soft box you get at uh like ikea yeah that's a container store piece right there for sure yeah <laughs> this 100%. may be an heirloom toilet mm. <laughs> passed that's down so gra- it was grandma's but then grandma died and you got the bathroom set because you were her shittiest grandchild <laughs> <laughs> Um, but here's the thing: the bathroom itself, the tile is that nice pink. It looks like the toilet might also be that same pink. Mm-hmm. Are you seeing that? We oh, only yeah. see just the very, the very beard at the bottom of this toilet here. Yeah, very soft pink, which is, I mean, like a comfy pink. It's not like the pink they use in prisons to to oppress people. It's the it's the pink that they they use in in places of of joy, like um, churches and um, bathrooms. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, the uh, and also I, I wanted to talk about the blue here because the blue does not match. No, it's uh, it's off. And you know, when it comes to matching things that closely, like it's a, it's a little upsetting. Actually, now I'm back to grandma because grandma might be like close enough. Where like grandma's never like close enough? Are you kidding me? Grandma, grandma is like the stickler for these things. Grandma is the one that organizes all of her massive collection of dolls on the shelves in the rest of her home. Yeah, but like, but maybe her eyes aren't that good, you know? Maybe that could be it. You know? I, I don't know. Any any updates on uh, on on Nathan Lane being gay? Nathan Lane is gay. Oh wow! Nice. Wow! wow. Good job, Nathan. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I got the I got the dar as they say. Yeah, there's uh, my dar was broken for most of my life. I was convinced that Luis Guzman was a gay icon. Turned out that I was just gay and considered him an icon. All right, can we look at a fucking toilet now? <laughs> I came here for one thing. <clears throat> yeah, here's, here's the toilet we've got next. Men only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that's fuck? it. That is. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Potato Head's hard time. Um, someone dropped a potato off at the pool. Mr. Potato Head. Oh. Oh. Um, something very aesthetic about how much toilet paper is hanging off the roll right there, too. <laughs> the entire thing is kind of aesthetic. It's kind of mm-hmm. all vibes, Bay. Yeah, absolutely. It's Big kind of vibes. Slave squad. <laughs> I really so I think- am. I, d- yeah. I don't understand the contrast here between the flooring and the walls. It doesn't seem like the type of floor you'd see used in conjunction with like the painted blue brick walls. This this gives this gives mental institution vibes to me, honestly. Mm. Yeah, same more prison. I was thinking a uh, dorm room, but 
Mm, I could I so, could see that. I I'm trying to figure out how this picture came into existence, and I have two ideas. One, someone just randomly came across a Mr. Potato Head in a toilet and was like, what the fuck is this, and took a picture. I, I think that's probably a pretty high possibility. But then the other one that I, that I keep thinking is uh, someone put that Mr. Potato Head in the toilet and then, like, stepped back, and they think they're, like, they're like a, a really artsy photographer and got this cool Dutch angle to take a, take a picture of the Mr. Potato Head in the toilet. And they're like, oh, man, I'm going to put this in my portfolio. <laughs> See, that, that photographer could be a genius or just really bad. And it all depends on one thing. It depends on whether or not they unrolled that toilet paper themselves. Or <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say an artist statement, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. And when you're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, no, there's a, there's a, a couple of questions here because this seems like something that would happen. Like th I, I agree that this could be a, a, a mental institution or, or a dorm room dorm room. I don't get why there would be a, a Mr. Potato head in the toilet. That's confusing to me. Uh, all, same with mental institution now park bathroom, uh, where they just mm -hmm. cheap went really cheap with it. Uh, and the wood door here looks like a, Yeah. I mean, that's my, that's where, that's where my mind goes is the flooring doesn't make sense to me for a park though. It doesn't see, it seems like firmly indoor flooring. Like this is, yeah, I just in can't, a hospital. I just can't tell with it. Like it looks. Yeah. But so have you, ever been in, have you ever been to a park bathroom? They're never good. They're always absolute dog shit. Mm -hmm. This is higher quality than most park. Bath most park bathrooms have just like, a brushed steel plate instead of a mirror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. But is the reason that I'm getting park bathroom is that door is definitely awful, like pressed wood, but also the paint job on the walls. <laughs> Nobody gave a fuck about this paint job. No. They're just like, I don't know, slap some blue paint over that fucking tan paint. I don't fucking care. It's a park bathroom. Yeah, frankly, well, I, I'm I'm surprised that the toilet doesn't have a bunch of uh, blue paint on it from somebody just <laughs> putting it in there and then being like, I'm not taking this out before I paint. Yeah. You know? I'm with you on does, park bathroom now for sure. I don't know. The the door does give me mental institution vibes too, because it looks like there's not a lock on it mm -hmm. from where I'm standing, which would indicate that this is a toilet. And also yeah. I, I'm pretty sure they had when I was in the hospital, I'm pretty sure they had a Mr. Potato Head available for people who <laughs> would like to partake in the potato head. Okay, that's an interesting <laughs> point because because yeah. potato head. Damn, I need to go to a mental institution. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> sounds yeah, lit. Yeah, I want to play with a, a fucking Mr. Potato. Um, yeah, I I mean that actually brings uh, the mental institution back into into focus for me because I assumed that a child would have would have grabbed it and then run to the Same. bathroom and then they were like, oh, he's swimming," you know. Depth and but, breadth of that potato head's expression. This was not done by him. <laughs> <laughs> specific angles of everything. He's tortured. I've, Look how I've tortured been, he is. I've been zooming in and out on the actual face over and over. <laughs> and there's no, there are no children who can reach that like <laughs> height of human experience. No child yeah. has felt enough to do a potato head like this. It's true. I mean, yeah, this definitely has like the vibes of like this is a very dark thing now. Okay, so it's a mental institution where where somebody uh made a uh, Mr. Potato Head to like match their emotions, right? Like like uh this is or I don't know, with the with the lips maybe this is a Mrs. Potato Head too. But the uh but what we got going on here mixed uh, potato head. Mix mixed potato. There we go. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, now they 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 put this this potato head in the, in the in the toilet as like a, a, a as a description of drowning and so this is like a this is a this is a like a actually a pretty deep uh, picture right here. And then they unroll the, the toilet paper roll a little bit. The so the potato head. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot going on here. You know, I I I really think that my initial reading was super wrong. This is a, this is distress. Installation. What if this is like an installation in a gallery? Then that gallery deserves hundreds of millions of dollars of government funding. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Absolutely. not even it's not even like water that's like cast in there in resin. So oh, the irony God. is if an art well. gallery got that much funding for having a toilet that looks like it was in a mental hospital, it would have more funding than a mental hospital that has a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> Oof. Oof, bringing it back to the real shit right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. Do we do we have uh, more thoughts? Do we want to get into uh, here, or, or are we wrapping up? No, this, this candle uh, burned pretty hard, fast and bright. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we we covered it. I believe. Does anyone have a title for this piece? Were Were you to see this as an installation in a museum? Uh, single word. Single word. Drowning. Yeah, I was gonna say the exact same thing. Oh, I was gonna say ocean. Oh, <laughs> right. I think I like ocean better. I like ocean <laughs> I a lot like. as well. Yeah, I was gonna say lost. Oh, but it's a reference to J.J. Abrams Lost. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast is canceled. Yeah, uh, we're gonna get sued <laughs> now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh yep that's definitely gonna happen there's definitely gonna be a screenshot from lost right here there we go okay cool <laughs> just flash it up for like two frames yep <laughs> replace one of the person's heads with this potato face <laughs> perfect perfect uh, oh wait it's probably august turn for a toilet right if it is i got one fully prepared um, I've been itching to to show other people this fucking toilet <laughs> since I found out this podcast existed. Please release this toilet upon us. This kraken. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Is a boat? This is this is a slow grower. Oh no! I've what stared at this for over an hour at least. Oh my god! I'm very excited. Is it like it? Lo- it's definitely a boat, but I mm-hmm. get like like hydroplane boat vibes from it. Yeah, I mean, you know, what's that, that? Oh, what's that pump thing? <laughs> it's cause, I don't what's know. that lotion? No, there's the a bright it's, red lotion. It's soap. It's on the wrong side though, because the the uh, the the sink yeah, is the on sink the other side. The yeah, but look where that sink is. You can't get your left hand. In yeah, that I know, part. dude. Like yeah, one hand at a time. If, but also, if you have the door closed, <laughs> there's no way you're like comfortably fitting in there, and you're definitely not reaching the sink if the door is closed. Oh, well, you, here's. You're Here's pooping with the door open. To note, there is a porthole in the in the <laughs> closure hedge. Oh, <laughs> imagine! Imagine like stepping up onto the deck of this boat, and you're like gonna go to the bathroom, and you like start walking up, and you just see someone's face in the porthole, looking shocked. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Brian, right that's, there. That's like, one way glass. Yeah. There's no way it can't be. And also, no. it looks like it looks like there's no. Um, if it is a like one way glass, it looks like there's no light source inside of that bathroom. So it could function as a pretty nice sensory deprivation pod too. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a the main problem with sensory deprivation pods, like the uh, the traditional ones, is that you can't shit in them very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> bad shitting zone oh my gosh uh also i just want to comment this boat looks like it goes so fast i know dude. <laughs> all I feel this like if you didn't have that like that hatch you would be experiencing extreme trouble when you took a shit <laughs> very it seems like there should be a seat belt honestly <laughs> yeah this is a like gotta a go fast harness yeah, you gotta you gotta fucking buckle in, you know. Like it's one of those things. Like on an airplane, you know, you go to the bathroom and they're like, "Hey, you know, there's certain times bad idea to go to the bathroom." But you know, on a on a boat, you know, people don't have the same sort of, uh, you know, different different experience there. They don't feel like they're in a controlled environment. There's no captain being like, "Hello, go to the bathroom now," um, you know, and so. You know, people are going to hurt themselves. <laughs> they're going to end up going and they're like, and they'll be going like, uh, you know, 40 knots on the water, you know, just we'll fucking. In this bathroom. Yeah. Is this the front of the boat or the back of the boat? That's a great question. I, I feel like back. 
Because then the dukes can just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can fall out either direction, I feel. It's just whether or not you want to have to clean the bottom of your boat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this is a money boat, so they don't want to clean the bottom yeah. of the boat. Yeah, that's... Yeah, but they is, don't have to clean the bottom of their boat because they're money. The water people. does it. Oh, Other true. people have to clean the bottom of their boat. Yeah, true. I was just going to say, they hire somebody for that. Yeah, someone goes and cleans the barnacles and duke off the bottom of their boat all the time. <laughs> it's the dukey barnacles. Dukeicles. Yeah. Do you have a guy who I'm sure that? all the barnacles fill with, with duke. If this thing's if this thing's barreling down the water while someone does what does a duke. Uh, the, those barnacles are just filling up, Doc. Do barnacles like Another duke? Point. Yes. That's a good question. I assume so I have no idea, but maybe um, if, if this is in the back it. of the boat, right? Think of it this way: you you fart down this toilet, you're giving yourself a little speed boost in your yacht race. <laughs> <laughs> do barnacles like Duke? <laughs> in real time, we find out. Do barnacles, I don't think the filter beaters, like Duke. Does anyone even use the word dookie aside from us on this podcast specifically? Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't use that word outside of toilet. <laughs> yeah, me neither. In this time zone? No. <laughs> uh, in, in the past time zones? Maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, there's definitely uh, an album that yeah, I can Richard remember. Armstrong and friends absolutely loved that word. Yeah, they were big dookie fans. <laughs> they really liked poop just generally explains a lot yeah he really does <laughs> I could see Billy explains Joe why they're shit being, a, being like a poop guy yeah I you could... think Billy Joel Armstrong would go on toilet talk yeah <laughs> alright let's well, stop talking shit about him then <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely going to be on here. He's one hundred percent. I'm a really big I, Green Day fan. I really want him to come on our good podcast. Yeah, like the early Green Day is fucking great, and uh, I'm not going to say anything about later Green Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, going to say anything, but uh, bring him in, everybody. Bring him in, it's hey, Billy Joel, <laughs> Billy Joel Os- uh, uh, Osment. No, <laughs> Armstrong. Joel, Billy Joel Ar- Armstrong. Billy Joel Osment. <laughs> I have a good brain that works well all the time. Joel uh, Osteen. <laughs> Joel Osteen. Billy Joel Osteen. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, I'm you got to get that prayer Ooh. hour in here. Uh, I one th- one thing I really do enjoy about this though uh, is that there is uh, y- you see where the feet go while you're uh, in in. Uh, Toitus in in, tech. in, in toilet coitus toitus uh, <laughs> uh, is is like a bunch of wood slats and I'm assuming yeah. that's so that uh, any water that you get from uh, the obviously uh, water sports are being done in this bathroom of course and um, <laughs> it's always water sports with you well fuck? no I mean no but you're on a boat you got to do water sports come on. Yeah, you think that jellyfish pee thing is uh, real? It's so rich, rich people have an excuse to pee on each other. The yeah, <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Uh, but that's that's to drain uh, the the pee pee and the water from the sink more likely uh, <laughs> into uh, into a zone that's easy to easier to clean because ain't nobody going into that bathroom and being like I'm I'm gonna go mop this up. You could mop about two inches of that and be done. Ain't happening. Do you think mopping most of the nubs of this bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's possible to like stand and pee into this toilet? Absolutely not. Not well, with motion. the door closed for sure. But even if the, if the door is open, it looks like it would be hard to stand and pee into. It looks. I angry. Wonder, like if you're going over some choppy waves at forty knots, there's no fucking. <laughs> <way. laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a safety feature. They want to make it impossible to stand while doing it because it's not. You shouldn't be standing. You should be you hit some down. chop on your way to Little St. James and you go flying. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then you have to. Then they have to get you out of the water, and your cock and balls are out. And how do you deal with that? <laughs> there you go. Danger, danger. Will Robinson, cock and balls are out. Quick question. 
What's is up? anyone else getting Transformers vibes from this? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Is this a robot it, in disguise? Does it seem like it'd transform and this would be the cockpit? Uh, for like the, oh, it's the, the pain cockpit, of the all right. God damn it, Josh! <laughs> this is where uh, this is where uh, Shia LaBeouf sits when Bumblebee turns into a boat. <laughs> damn! Is this facing forwards or backwards ass. on the boat? Do you think? <laughs> we talked we, about that. Yeah, I, I think it's fa- I, well. Looking at it now, I can't tell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, all right, so think about it this way, right? You're at the, this is the back of the boat because uh, it, unless you want, have to climb over the top of the boat, which isn't highly unsafe, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be struggling with some, some issues here, right? Like, like I, I, I could be wrong and maybe the like pilot seats in the back of the boat, but that's not a very common thing. Uh, well, so I'm thinking like either this is like right at the very tip of the boat or like right at the very back of the boat. Yeah, it's definitely mm-hmm. the bow or the stern. And I'm going to stop using boat words because it's the two I know. Now, it's do like you think it, do you think it's uh, do you think it's uh, starboard or larboard? <laughs> larboard. Yeah, that's the old word for port. Uh, before they like before that. they realized that uh, saying starboard and larboard on a loud ass boat is like the most <laughs> terrible way to describe directions. Yeah, it's, it's why we went boat from, expert uh, Brian again. That's why we went to uh, left and right from left and raft. Yeah, exactly. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. What it was until uh, nineteen sixty three. Uh, yeah. Wow. No, this, <laughs> the year of okay. our Lord. <laughs> So, uh, alternate. This is on the side, and it's hanging off over the water. Do I like it? It's like a, and this what like if a it's, big ass yacht, right? What if the boat is shaped like a star, and every one of the points is like this, <laughs> <laughs> and it spins around sideways like a teacup ride? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes please so yes good. please uh i was hoping it like maybe like it's, a, it's got pontoons on the side and then you you just like uh for like you know stability and uh i was gonna say what if this is like one of those 200 million dollar yachts and this is actually one of the like uh boats that dangles off the side like in case of like a like a like a lifeboat yeah, like lifeboats, uh, like but they dog. just have really fancy <laughs> lifeboats that have their own toilets. I would be so surprised, but you know, fuck it, go off, Queen. <laughs> if you got that much money, fuck it, right? Well, I mean that I, that was me going off. I went off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. All right. Um, All right. Big, big fan. I love this. This is yeah. this is a very powerful, but like I. Say what you want about the owners, but this is a very powerful thing. It, like, uh, it, it feels like, uh, if not the one ring, at least one of like the the three rings given to the elves. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it definitely. If I was to compare a boat to one of the three rings given to the elves, it would be this one. <laughs> this would be. Wait, 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 wait! Everyone, shut up for four minutes. Everyone, quiet. Okay, nobody talk. All right, Lord of the Rings. Elves rings names. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it were up to me, if you were going to ask me, this would definitely be uh, uh, Narya. Oh no, but Nenya's the ring of water. Oh, oh the the there you oh. go. That's it. Oh, okay. I got it in two. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah, but Nenya, Nenya is very appropriate. <laughs> Nenya business. What's going on? In this oh bathroom? my god. Yeah, I really like the idea of uh, of of this being Nenya, one of the three rings of elves. Um, yeah, especially because not it. not only is it at, on a boat, which is at you know in the water, and you may understand how boats work. It's in the water, but um, but also it's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> where one makes water <laughs> that's what i always say when i sit down on the on the shitter i'm gonna go make some water <laughs> <laughs> this uh, fan submission is from my mom <laughs> hell yeah here we go 
Oh, hell oh. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I yeah. love it. <laughs> oh. Is this, this in is the, the kitchen? Pack. Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Oh. Well, it doesn't look like a kitchen sink, though. It looks like they've just got a kettle in their weird bathroom. Oh, wait, that's an oven, though. Yeah, this yeah. is what a, is happening. This is a tiny house. So, this is a tiny house. One hundred percent. This is this is a tiny house. It's a houseboat or it's a trailer. Mm. All right. Counterpoint. There's a hundred thousand square feet in this bad boy. <laughs> but it's Howard Hawks type psycho who only wants to pay for water to one room. Oh, hmm. interesting. So all bathroom and kitchen stuff is all in one zone and everything else is just like completely dry throughout the rest of the house. Do you think that outside of this room, there's there's a big sign maybe on the door or maybe above it that just says the Oasis? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. I love I love this toilet. So yeah, much. it's very good. Um, beautiful. All right, so issues I have with it, though. I have okay. issues. Please address them. Uh, we have a uh, we have a, a lot of food <laughs> next to a toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, um, that brown and white sugar. E- Listen, <laughs> you just want, you, it's okay. You just have a little bit of patina in everything that you eat. A little bit, just a little bit. It's fine. It just inoculates you. That's all. That's. I, I don't know if that's yeah. true. What, what I want to know is, is, what if it's like, what if this person couldn't install like a garbage disposal or something? So this is just how they get rid of food chunks. They installed this instead, so they could flush like, like, what if, pl- there's, like, a, what if there's a garbage disposal further down the drain of that toilet, and any dukes you take are just <laughs> utterly annihilated. <laughs> Hell oh yeah. dear oh Round my two. gosh that's a that's a that's a dark future i'm about it though also <laughs> this is not in the u.s that is, those are i think uk style outlets that, that kettle is plugged into absolutely um, good good eye so we haven't commented that much on the actual toilet itself okay um it's pretty unremarkable aside from its its shell is really the the most um striking thing about it much like a much like a beetle or my emotional state um mm. <laughs> it does have a lot of neat little accoutrement near it um i don't know what those things are it looks like antifreeze yeah i was thinking maybe butane yeah it looks like a butane torch which <laughs> seems like a bad combo mm-hmm. really a methane right near that thing so yeah, yeah, you might have some uh, some off gassing from the from the Dukes, you know. Could happen. <laughs> could happen. Um, oh, but I want. I would give my left leg to be able to uncrop this picture to zoom out a little bit. Right yeah, now. same. Yeah. There's so many, I give both like, my legs. This is like the story of toilet talk. Is there are so many pictures that are just like if you could see just a little bit beyond what you're seeing, you would be able to figure out all the answers mm-hmm. but you can't <laughs> you can never find out yeah it's you get what you get uh also the it looks like they didn't do anything to the bottom of the board that they used at the top here so mm-hmm. you know the the extreme sadness of a toilet having to look at like a unfinished ceiling like That's true the toilet think of the toilet <laughs> so we're all on board. It does look. It does have a little face. Look at, look at the, yeah. the, the the like nubbins for the seat and her little tiny beady yeah. eyes, and it's got it's a like, big sad, scared mouth. It's like we're all in on toilets having souls, right? Because yeah, for no, sure. All, all toilets I've looked at, and the hundreds of toilets I've looked at in my last week, mm-hmm. have all had their own personalities. That's very true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, they uh I mean I think that's a really important part of watching this show is that, you know, the there is a a a force out there that animates these these toilets, you know. They don't they're not they're not just a place to shit. There are friends. Yeah, be kind to your toilets, people. Maybe after this show, 
Maybe you should go get to know yours a little bit better. Maybe you should like introduce yourself on a more formal <laughs> basis. Yeah. Like, go, Hello. Rights activist <laughs> podcast. Hello. My name's Monk. What's your name? And then your toilet will speak to you and your toilet will give you a name. Verbally or not, your toilet will still speak with you. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever given your toilet a chance? Have you ever got tried to get to know it? Come on. It's a, it's a bare minimum, everybody. It's Avatar style plugging your ponytail into the into the water line <laughs> your I, I was thinking more of an more of an existens on the cord type of thing. Mm. I don't know that works too. Mm. Mm. Powerful. You know, we're we're here to, you know, not just to talk about the the lack of pissies and shitties and the way that we would pissy or shitty into the toilet but but also you know the the soul of the toilet the heart of the cards if you would and um <laughs> that's, that's just sick. that's our that's our lot in life here at on toilet talk it's to to you know to to really you know create connections between people and their toilets it's a uh, it's wholesome it's not god damn it it's wholesome toilets. It's not about mocking toilets. It's about celebrating the unique toilets in our world mm-hmm. by mocking them. Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, think yeah. we, I think we can do one more and then end. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do 50. like. Do we want to do a quickie or do we want to do like a real one? Um, I could go either way. I could also go either way. Let's do a quickie. I, I, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. I, I also really like this one a lot. So here is. Um, here's an art piece that I found a while ago that I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to unleash. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yes! Wow. Yes! Oh, um, man, this is my new bathroom. I want to move in there. May I just Ooh. say, Sayo. <laughs> what does Zizek say about um, Eastern European toilets and, like, Russian toilets? I... Don't know if I've heard him, ever heard him talk about the Eastern European toilet. Yeah, how does this fit into <laughs> Zizek's theory on toilets? <laughs> uh, very well, I'm sure. That's, <laughs> this might actually be Zizek's toilet. There's a non-zero chance of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quick question. Uh, first of all, this is beautiful. This is a <laughs> monument of art. Uh, second of all, do you think the toilet paper is in that panel on the right? I'm <laughs> almost convinced that they have cracked the code of how to keep toilet paper uh, discreet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's definitely not lined up with the wall, so I, I do believe it is holding something. Uh, but What if it's a secret <laughs> tunnel that you can go through in case the <laughs> capitalist pigs find your bunker? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little rabbit hutch. Oh, I was oh I was looking at the wrong part. No, that that yeah, that's for that's for uh, sharing that's for toilet escape. paper with your neighbors. Um, <laughs> you get a little knock. You get a little our toilet paper. Exactly, exactly. It's uh, well, I mean, it's everybody's toilet tape paper. It's yeah. the people's toilet paper. Exactly. Um, now on the left here, you see this this box popped out from the wall. That's what I was looking at. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. and I believe that there is toilet paper in there. Mm. I oh, believe. that's where the toilet paper. That's so far away from the toilet. That is pretty far. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Not real good. Well, or you, you know, your friend to toss it to you. Yeah, because you're shitting together. This is yeah. the people's toilet. Um, I'm assuming that this is a uh, post-gender society where uh, where everybody goes to the bathroom at the same time as their friends. Yeah, what'd mm-hmm. be weird about it? Yeah. Like, come on. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You know, looking at this, looking at this bathroom, one thing that really strikes me about the 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 messaging of this piece is that you have uh, you know, all the workers standing together in solidarity. This is a solidarity oh. bathroom. You've got all of them standing together. Every one of these uh these these workers is standing together to help you shit. And yeah. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. This is, this is a very, this is a, a very, uh, I don't know. It reminds me of 
of seeing a lot of old Soviet art where they would, they would have like workers standing together and it would be yeah. three workers, always three, three was the magic number. And, uh, you know, that was, it was the big solidarity. I think each tile represents an individual worker. Oh yeah. And they're, yeah. It's, they're cheering you on. <clears throat> yeah. You know, the union each- of these workers makes you strong. All right. Brainstorm. Okay. Each of these tiles, you press it, and it's a, a, a worker's voice saying, you're doing great, bud. Hold in there. <laughs> <laughs> hold in there? I think the worker oh, wants you to help, to help expel, not hold in. Keep, keep, uh, uh, bear down on that, baby. I don't remember. <laughs> what, what did people say to encourage each other on the toilet? Um, you show that turd who's boss. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think I saw something about it in... Uh, Gold member. Um, it was actually Austin awesome Powers extremely- one. Thank you. It was Austin awesome Powers one. My bad. <laughs> yes. Uh, when when the when the Lucky Charms man went and killed uh, Austin Powers, and the movie oh, ended. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Austin Powers. <laughs> Ooh yeah. I uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I love I love this one as our, our last toilet. Just really, you know. If people had any confusion about what we were about, this toilet is is really going to to blow the lid off. You know, exposed. <laughs> blow the toilet lid off. Blow the toilet lid off, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, uh, anything anything else about this toilet y'all want to talk about? I think Just the only toilet it. that's going to be blowing the lid off is the... Insurrection, insurrectionary anarchist propaganda of the deed toilet. That we have yet to find. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want that toilet. Yeah, that'll be I an interesting that one. Mythical, mythical toilet. <laughs> yeah, that one will really do it. <laughs> that one will 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 blow the lid off of uh, out the world. Maybe I don't know the world. <laughs> the world as toilet. Exactly. That's, That's what pe- I was just about to say. Literally, exactly. That. <laughs> That's uh, the world is toilet is piss earth. That's true, right? All right, cool. Well, uh, you know, this has been fun as always. Uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about other projects we got going on. Curse uh, Monk, uh, Twitch.tv slash Curse Monk, Twitter dot com slash Cursed underscore Monk. Um, you can send toilets to me, and I'll get them on the show. You can send toilets to any of us, but I'm the toilet daddy of the bunch i I, that's my role here (laughs) um i also stream um i've been starting the stream hopefully daily ish on twitch um around like 3 p.m eastern um mostly like low-key puzzle games for now until i get my new pair of glasses and we'll do Uh, twitter.com slash the bread pill that's all i got I i don't i haven't been streaming okay uh August, do you have any projects you want to talk about? You can follow me everywhere uh, at Jungle Clams. That's jungle is in jungle and clams is in clams. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, uh, talk to me and uh, tell me I'm doing a great job. <laughs> You're doing a great job, bud. You're doing a great Thank job. You so much. Great job. Bless you. Christ bless your hearts. Great job, <laughs> my envy. Uh, ooh. Uh, and then I uh, am, as always, the uh, not, not the just trash can thirteen twelve. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, known as uh, known as Twitch's preeminent anarchist. I don't know. I don't think that's true, but I was on a list once. The crusty anarchist. Look it up. It's a funny meme. It isn't probably relevant anymore. Uh, Hey, and, uh, you know, you can check me out on twitch.tv, Trashcan1312, same on Twitter, YouTube, um, uh, Farscape, um, uh... The TV show? Yeah, Yahoo. There we go. Yeah, cool. Uh, and, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with us on, on Toilet Talk, and, uh, we'll, we'll check you around, okay? Mm-hmm.